Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to show you guys how I get my flawless looking makeup and how I conceal all of my acne scars and my acne. I have been on such a long skincare journey, which if you guys have been following along with my videos, I have a whole playlist of my skincare journey, which I will have linked down below for you guys and up here somewhere if you're interested to see my process. But... I did have very cystic acne and I'm so happy that it has diminished a lot but I still do have some acne scars so I'm going to show you guys how I like to conceal them when I am doing my makeup so I just want to get right into this video but before we get started if you guys are interested in seeing more beauty type videos definitely hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet and join the family and let's hop right into it so first starting off of course if you want flawless looking makeup it needs to start with good skincare so I'm gonna have linked up here my skincare that I currently do and that's just like prep for your makeup once your skincare is looking good your actual skin and your makeup are going to be looking even better so to start out we're gonna start with some primer and the primer I'm gonna go in with today is the one from elf it's just the hydrating primer here I'm gonna take one little squirt of this and I just like to put this right on my cheeks my chin and my forehead I used to be obsessed with like matte primers but figuring out that matte primers actually make me more oily throughout the day I've stuck to more hydrating ones and those just leave my skin looking so nice and hydrated and honestly if you have oily skin switch over to using hydrating ones and your face is gonna look so much better trust me my skin type has changed like I went from just strictly oily skin to I now have like a combination skin so I am dry in some places still gets slightly oily definitely like in my eyebrow forehead area but it's not as bad as I used to be so after priming is when we jump right into concealing these scars and the two products that I actually go in with are two different concealers so this one here is the one from NYX it's just like a color correcting one and I have it in this green shade is just the shades literally just called green HD studio photogenic concealer corrector whatever and then obviously the Tarte shape tape and then this is in the shade light sand the reason why I like to go in with two concealers is because when you go in with a corrector especially a green color the green is going to conceal and hide all of the redness green and red are opposite on the color wheel so that's kind of what you base it off of when you are color correcting green is going to conceal all of the reds and kind of like purples that you may have so it's perfect when you are concealing the acne scars that you may have like the hyperpigmentation and all this I used to only go in with just the green but then I would notice that I would still see it through with my foundation that I would put on top so I started using regular concealer on top of the green just so it completely like makes it in invisible and you cannot see a thing so I'm just gonna go in and I'll just dot all the spots that I have and if I have like a bigger area that I want to cover I'll just like do that and go over the entire area rather than just dot the spot and then with the concealer I'll take a little like flat concealer brush and just go over those spots like literally directly over it so it covers up the green as well this just gives you like a double layer of concealing which I love and the shape tape it's a little thicker than other type of concealers so it lasts longer which I do like about that or else I could just go in with like the e.l.f. concealer, which is pretty much like a dupe for this one. It's the 16-hour Camel concealer. So either one that you want to use, those two would be the best that I can suggest to you guys. So I'm also going to go in and color correct underneath my eyes just to get rid of my bags and like the purpley darkness that you get underneath your eyes and I go in with the Bobbi Brown corrector and this is in the shade Bisque and I go in with the Morphe M421 brush which is just like a little concealer brush I absolutely love this corrector this like seriously will cover up any of the darkness that you have around your eyes so if you're a little bit more tired 
this really gets it good remember in college i had a makeup class and it was all bobby brown products and that's when i was first introduced to this product here and i was like wow that's that's amazing they have a ton of shades so you could definitely find your shade of corrector that you need but this little peachy one here is perfect for me and then of course i always just like blend it in with my finger it just gets in there better so now it's time for foundation i am a foundation before brows type of girl i just i cannot do my brows first it just it doesn't work out for me because i feel like i'm gonna mess it up when i go over with foundation and stuff so i'd rather just foundation it out first then do the brows so for foundation we're gonna go in with my favorite one from the drugstore which is the Maybelline Superstay here and I have it in the shade 120 classic ivory it's sad that like 120 is my summer color because that's still like so light but I take it with a little like kabuki brush just to apply it all because I feel like this technique that I've been doing this whole summer of like doing it with a brush and then going in with my sponge afterwards just makes my makeup look that much more flawless and I absolutely love it so this new technique I'm really digging and this foundation is just like amazing I don't know what it is but it's just literally my favorite drugstore foundation it looks so good on so i kind of just press it into my skin and then we'll blend it all out later just want to get the product on first and this way when you're putting it on with a brush first instead of the sponge you're not lifting up all of the concealer that we already put on so you are making sure that all your acne scars are gonna be covered up and as always make sure you blend down to your neck you need to blend and match to your neck ladies so now that's all applied like i said i'm gonna go in with the sponge and it just blends everything out perfectly because when you just do the brush it's very like streaky and weird and it looks very textured so then when you go on the sponge it just smooths it all out look at that look at that it literally looks like perfect skin now oh, i can't wait till my actual skin looks like this all right so i'm gonna put on my brows and we'll be right back brows about to be on like that's yay for brows so now we're gonna move on to the concealing and highlighting and to conceal i do go in with the elf 16 hour camel concealer but this one i do get the hydrating one of i used to have the original formula of one and that one really is just like the tarte shape tape but just like that it's a little thicker it's a little drying and when i switched over to the hydrating one because i went through my whole like Oh, I want everything hydrating now type of phase which I'm still in and I'm loving this phase this hydrating concealer is so much better I like it ten times more and it just looks so much better on so I just like to put this underneath my eyes I don't completely highlight my whole face like my forehead and chin and all that I just leave that alone that's just a personal preference of mine I just like to do under the eyes And for my concealer, I use the same thing as my foundation, but I use the stick version. So it is the Superstay from Maybelline, and this one is in the shade 220. For my contouring, I just prefer using a foundation rather than going in with a darker concealer, just because I feel like it looks better on since it is supposed to be a foundation. It just blends better, especially this one. It's like super creamy, and I love it, and it gives a more natural looking finish rather than like girl you are chiseled I mean the chiseled look is cute but when are we going for like an everyday type of look I do like to go in with this foundation stick so I'll just go on my forehead and make it look like I'm a little, little sun kissed and then of course on the cheekbones
Now to set, I go in with two different setting powders. So for under my eyes, chin, forehead, basically my T-zone, I do like to go in with the Fenty one, and this is in the shade Butter. And then for the rest of my face, just to completely mattify and make it look smooth, flawless, airbrushed, I go in with the Huda Beauty one in the shade Banana Bread. This one, literally, if you want to look flawless, flawless, like completely airbrushed, completely perfect, the Huda Beauty one, amazing. This stuff is really like literally my favorite baking powder ever. So I'm more of like a setter than a complete baker. So I just like to go in and set rather than like leave it on and let it bake because I feel like that just makes, I don't know. With my skin, it's just, it's weird when I bake. It makes it look very textured and cakey and weird. I don't know, maybe I just don't have the, te the technique down or something, but anytime I've ever baked, I've never been a big fan of it. So I personally just like to you know, pat it on and keep it moving. So the Fenty is perfect for my under eye area. I haven't found a translucent powder or setting powder that's just as fine as this one and sets so beautifully underneath the eye area because that can get really crepey really easily. And that's what we don't want. And we all know Rihanna just does her thing with her products. If you don't want to look too dry underneath your eye area, definitely get the Fenty translucent powder. This stuff is bomb. The only thing I hate about this Huda Beauty one, it's like so messy. This has to be the messiest powder ever, but it's my favorite. It literally just smooths me out. It makes me wish my skin looked like this 24 seven. Oh, the smoothness. And just a warning, both of these setting powders have a little bit of a fragrance to it. So if you're sensitive to that, you might wanna take that into consideration, but they're both bomb. And a little trick that I do, like if I have too much setting powder on my sponge, I'll just tap it onto a paper towel and then just keep it moving and it literally puts like the perfect amount onto my face. And you can always go back into whatever you tapped off onto the paper towel and use it. So now to bronze up my face, I go in with my favorite bronzer and it is from Kylie and it is the shade Almonds. And I take it with this super fluffy Morphe brush. This is the M530, is literally my favorite bronzer brush. I cannot go without this brush. I hate opening this. I can never do it. I'm like, girl, why? Okay. Literally, this stuff is like so buttery and smooth. And just, mm, I love it. Make me look tan. I love good makeup days. And this is feeling like a good makeup day. Definitely. The only thing is that, like, you always end up having good makeup days on days that you're not going anywhere. So, you know, maybe I'll escape the house today and go see the world. Or not, because Miss Rona is still out there. So. Hmm. So this is the bronzer I also like to use to do my nose contour and I'll go in with this BH Cosmetics brush This is just the number 10 brush from their um, one of their collections. I think it was the color Festival collection, but as long as you go in with a little like fluffy brush like this it's definitely like an eyebrow I mean not eyebrow like an eyeshadow brush, but I Love it for my nose and you always want to drag it up to your eyebrow just so it really snatches you and you get like instant nose job but it's what makeup so because we love multi-purpose products i'm also going to use this as a little light eyeshadow because this is my more so everyday look i'm just gonna go in with a little fluffy brush and just give my eye a little bit of definition we don't gotta go crazy and for my blush lately i've been using the kylie one which is in the shade close to perfect it's like this peachy pinky color almost similar to just having like a bronzer but i love the peachy tones so i take this real techniques brush and just pat this right onto my cheeks i love a peachy glowy tan bronzy look so now to go in and set the face i'm going to use my morphe continuous setting mist 
love this stuff it sets so nicely and it's just like helpful to have like a continuous mist and then of course I go in with my little fan from Amazon and just dry it all up I have my Amazon favorites linked down below. So I'm finally so happy that I am an am. This is so hard to say. I am an Amazon influencer. So you guys can shop my favorite items. I'm going to have it linked down below. And all my favorite Amazon things are on there. So I'm just going to put on some wing liner and pop on some lashes. So this part, I like to be up close and personal with my mirror, so it's hard to show you guys. But the liner that I'm going to go in with, with today is from Stila. Here, I really love using this one. It's just like a felt tip. It is the Stay All Day waterproof liquid eyeliner this has really become like my favorite little eyeliner and then for lashes i don't know which ones i'm gonna use today so i'll tell you guys after i pop them on and figure out which ones i wanted to use all right so i have my liner on but i wanted to show you guys the lashes that i am going with today and they're the ardell double up 113s i love these here they're just like a nice little simple double up lash and then i like to apply it with the duo lash this is just the black one um i usually like the clear one because I just like the clear one better but I um, ran out of that one so I'm using the black one today so a little trick I like to do when waiting for the lash glue to dry is I'll take that little fan and I'll just dry it this way and it makes it so much quicker than just like sitting here waiting for it to dry and get tacky and then put it on so this dries it so much faster and this little fan has like three settings on it so it's like low medium and high so, however fast you want your lashes to dry, this little thing got you. I'm really interested and want to try that, like, magnetic liner thing. That's just, like, this magnetic liner that you put on, like, an eyeliner, and then your lashes just stick right to it. <sighs> very, very curious and interested in that, so... Maybe that will be my next little beauty purchase I do. Oh, I love when you have days that your lashes just go on flawlessly. Perfect. Love these days. It's like no struggling to try to get the corners on there. Like, you just went right on. Love it. And you see how it's like just perfectly fluttery. That's definitely my favorite type of lash. It's like fluttery and wispy. I love wispies. The demi wispies and the regular wispies. The studio effects wispies. Like, all of those. Ardell is really like top favorite lash brand because of the wispies okay full face is done and all we have left are the lips so i'm gonna go in with my favorite little combo which is the nyx lip liner pencil in the shade of brown line my lips and then go in with oh this is the wrong color let's get it right and then go in with max creme de nude my absolute favorite i love this nude so much and it's nice and creamy i don't want to do a matte lip today so we're going to go with creamy and then the gloss we're going to use is the nyx lingerie gloss in sable and that is it my flawless everyday makeup look and we conceals all of our acne scars you literally cannot see anything and that is what we want so if you guys have any requests for any other beauty related videos makeup videos whatever leave them in the comments down below and i'm more than happy to make those videos for you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you're not subscribed definitely hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the comments share it follow me on my instagram do everything make sure your notifications are turned on as well so you know every time i upload and i will see you all next time